Hey everybody and welcome to episode 4 of Ratchet and Clank with your host Kados. In the last episode we finished the outpost Iridia. We still have to come back a bit later I think to get some extra things. Um, in this episode we'll be heading to the planet Kerwin in Metropolis City. This is my favourite level so I'm pretty psyched. Um, but yeah, this level is basically, when you see it, it's basically the, uh, when Insomniac Games showed this kind of idea for this game to, uh, was it, I forgot what they, sh the, to the, I don't know, to the developers or whatever it was. Um, sorry, I'm eating. Yeah. Um, this level was kind of the, or well, part of this level was, uh, kind of the show-off level they were showing to try and get the game produced kind of thing. Producers, that's the word I'm looking for. Um, yeah, so this is also my favourite level because it's so kind of colourful and at the same time there's lots of trees and stuff everywhere, so it's pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, it was pretty cool. I was watching a little documentary on the Ex Insomniac website because at the moment they've got the 10 year anniversary of Ratchet and Clank. So I was kind of looking at uh, how Insomniac were trying to kind of trying to you know get the game out there kind of thing. So they showed they made these things called dioramas. Actually, I'll t t finish talking after this cutscene. Welcome to the Captain Quirk Fitness Course. If you're strong enough, fast enough, and clever enough to beat my fitness challenge, you will receive a reward from my head trainer. Simply make your way to the third island to complete the course. Good luck. Quirk Enterprises is not responsible for sprains, broken bones, snapped tendons, bruised egos, or accidental death incurred while taking the challenge. Excuse me, Captain, but we have more pressing issues. We urgently need your assistance. Clank? Yes? Do you notice anything unusual about Captain Quark? Well, I find the fact that he has a spring where his leg should be to be quite puzzling. And why do you think that is? Possibly an injury incurred while battling evil? This isn't the real Captain Quark, you numbskull. It's a robot. Oh. Ah, <laughs> uh, Clank is so naive. Um, alright. What happens if we talk to him? That's right, fitness fans. Just make it to the third island to claim your reward. And don't forget to tune in this week as I, Captain Quark, appear in person to present the grand prize for the Hoverboard Championship held in Blackwater City. Alright. Um, so what you can do here is... No, I don't as want to talk to you him. you two can be as fit and good-looking as your hero, Captain huh? Quark. Well... Maybe not as good looking. <laughs> Go ahead and take the challenge to see if you can claim the reward. Huh. This looks like there's like a different cutscene every time you talk to him. That's right, fitness fans. Oh no, it finishes there. The Alright. So what you can do here, get away from the talk button. Uh, you can actually blow him up and get a skill point. Oh, well usually you could. Why can't I do it now? Mm, I'll use the... Why haven't I equipped a... Oh, I haven't equipped the freaking rocket gun. Hang on, let me. All right, uh, we'll overtake that one. I actually overtake the suck cannon and get. Where is? Where's the gun I'm looking for? Unless it's not in this game and I'm just derping. Devastator. That's what I'm looking for. All right. So you, you get the devastator. You can blow him up, and you get a skill point for that too, which is cool. Obviously, it doesn't show us getting the skill point here because I've already done it before. So, derpy derpy derp, I just thought I'd show you. I probably wasted a whole lot of time in the video, but oh well. It's not like I have a time limit anymore, anyway. Oh, sorry. My monitor just... My monitor keeps turning itself off for the screensaver and I have to kind of keep flicking it back on again. Yeah, it's pretty handy not having a 15 minute time limit. I remember back in the day... Um, when I was first starting on YouTube, I had to kind of make sure the videos weren't passing 15 minutes. And it was really hard to... If I had too much footage, I had to edit everything down to make 15 minutes, which was so annoying. But It's good not having to work with that anymore, I guess. But yeah, as I was saying before... Sorry, I've got a boogity nose. Yeah, as I was saying before... Um, insomni... Insomni... Blah! 
Insomniac Games uh, used to make little things called dioramas, which was basically a tiny little fraction of an early, early alpha, pre-alpha of the game kind of thing. And it would just kind of show off what the game would look like and sound like, and even how Ratchet would control and stuff like that. And it showed him pulling out a weapon and everything, and it was... Which, you don't actually see the weapon that he used in the diorama in this game. It was kind of a beta thing, which was really interesting to see. If you want to have a look at that stuff, if you're interested in this game, um, yeah, go to the Insomniac website, and they've got all the kind of history of Ratchet and Clank there. It's pretty cool. Obviously, they don't have a lot of history about Spyro, because um, they obviously had to part with that game, but it's kind of a shame. It happens, though. I just derped there. Yeah, it was kind of a shame, because um, Insomniac Games were kind of more loyal to their fans when they kept using, kept going with Ratchet and Clank. Um, but they didn't really have to get rid of it, like they had to get rid of Spyro, I guess. Because when they were making Spyro, they were working with Universal Studios. And, um... Yeah, they were... To move on to bigger and better things, they had to get, keep Spyro behind, which was a shame. It was the exact same thing with Naughty Dog as well. Right. Listen up, you lard balls! That was the most pathetic display I have ever seen on that obstacle course! What do you mean? We finished the circuit, ma'am. Oh yeah, but it was weak. Weak, weak! When I was competing, I would devour courses like that for breakfast! <laughs> Bet that's not all. If it were up to me, you would drill, drill, drill for the rest of the day! But somehow you managed to impress that fool Captain Quark. Captain Quark knows about us? He certainly does. And worst of all, he wants me to give you a prize for that ridiculous performance. Cool, what is it? I'm supposed to give you a swing shot, so you can sway to and fro like little insects. All right, let's see it. Not so fast. Today, the two of you disgraced my obstacle course, so I am going to make you pay. But that prize is ours from the captain. That's not fair. Too bad. Life's not fair. Oh, what a bitch. Alright, so we have to use our monies to buy a swing shot. That's annoying. Sweet. I bet Captain Quark uses stuff like this all the time. Ha! Real men can swing without silly toys like that. The two of you make me sick. <laughs> Alright, so we got the swing shot, which means we can go back to, uh, whatever level we were on last time, where we needed the slingshot and do stuff there. So let's equip that now. Um, I guess I'll overtake the Parasitter. So what was I saying? Oh yeah, Naughty Dog had to do the same thing when they left Universal Studios as well. I, I, I would guess it would be something that Naughty Dog wouldn't want to leave behind, something like Crash Bandicoot, but something they had to do, but again, when they were finished with the Jack and Daxter trilogy, they kind of got rid of that and gave it off to, was it High Impact Games? I'm pretty sure that's who made, uh, what was the other game that, uh, was Jack, uh, I can't remember what it was, it was some shitty Jack and Daxter game that was made for the PS3, PSP, sorry, and it was just awful. But... Insomniac Games are still making Ratchet & Clank games, which I'm really happy to see. They're kind of... Insomniac Games are a really good company. The... Um, what's his name? The founder or whatever? The CEO or something. He's really intelligent and knows what makes a good game. And uh, he's kind of... Lo he, he knows how to be loyal to his fans as well. Which is good to see. You don't see very often uh, that kind of stuff with video games. It's kind of all about money these days, which is really a shame, but that's just how it is, I guess. I'll just spam the rhino for everything. Derp. Just destroy everything in sight. Oh well. I should probably use a different gun. I'll use the blast sword again. It's golden. Shiny. The main thing I'm trying to do is collect bolts as well. So I have to go out of my way to do something I don't really have to do. It's mainly to get the bolts. 
That's the most important thing in this run. By far. Because all those gold weapons are so expensive too, it's ridiculous. This guy's annoying, he keeps throwing mines behind his back, so you got to get rid of him as soon as you can. See, as you can see there, there's all mines over there. So be careful of that. Um, where else do we have to go? Should probably stop sitting on my back. Ow! I don't know if it's something. Oh, actually, I'll talk to this guy first. Ratchet, that's the man we saw on the infobot. Remember, he knows Captain Quark. Hey, you're that robot guy, right? No, actually, I build robots. I myself am not a robot guy, per se. <laughs> Nerd. I like him. So, now that we've cleared that up, what can I do for you? Well, we saw your infobot announcement. You were with Captain Quark. We're trying to find Captain Quark. We thought you could help us. Your logic is commendable. However, I haven't seen Captain Quark since we shot that commercial. Say, do you run on standard XP-18 sister boards? Version 7.66. Back at ya. I may be able to help you out after all. How does a helipack upgrade sound? Upgrade? Natch. Since he's a 766, I could have the little guy up and flying in no time. Of course, uh, I'll just need my fee for service. Ah, oh, we gotta pay another fee. God. Okay, this won't hurt a bit. Hey, wait. Ratchet, am I cool now? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you the man, Clank. You're welcome. Clank is actually really funny. He's really naive. Like, he comes across to be really intelligent and smart and everything, but he's really just... He knows nothing about anything. It's funny. Well, social issues, like, how to be, um... You know... Um... I don't know what... He's, you know what I'm talking about, right? God, I hope you do. So, I think there might be something wrong with the, with the uh, capture card I'm using. I'm not really sure if it's just the game or the recording, but... Sometimes it seems like the lip, the limp sync, the the lip syncs are out of sync kind of thing. If you know what I mean, like when the characters talk, it looks like their lips are moving out of time or something. I don't know. It's not noticeable unless you are looking for it, but it's just something I noticed when I was looking back on episode one and two. It's no big deal. I mean, it's not really, really not noticeable, but. It's just these things I kind of worry about when I'm filming. Or recording, sorry. Not filming. So we're nearly towards the end of this episode, I think. Yeah, I think we are. Oh god, it's another one of these. You gotta destroy the uh, thing that's spitting them out. Otherwise they'll just keep coming. As you can see. <laughs> coming. It's a sex joke. Oh my god, leave me alone. I've kind of made a little schedule for myself with uploading as well, like... Um... I'll, rec I'll upload maybe... A... Kados Classic or a Crash Bandicoot episode on Tuesdays. Um... Rash and Clank on Wednesdays and Jack and Dexter on... Thursdays. It's kind of good to have a little schedule like that, I suppose. Because then I'm not falling behind again with videos like I was last time. Which is a pain. I uh, can find another gold bo bolt up here somewhere. But obviously, you know, we don't have to collect them this run. Because we're just trying to get the gold weapons. Holy shit. Um, alright. Whoa, fuck! Um, quick, I gotta f get a gun. Shit. Oh my god. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. I'll just get the blaster. Oh my gosh, leave me alone. Bastards? Jeez. So rude. Oh, God, I'm just really tired. I'm sorry. I'm sorry you have to sit through this. I just can't be... I just really cannot be stopped commentating at the moment. Because today I recorded Crash Bandicoot episode 13. And by the end of that, I was just having a frustrating time trying to get the time trials and the relics. By the end of it, I was just like, oh, I do not want to make any more videos today. And then I realized I was running behind with, um, with uh, my backlog of videos. 
and otherwise I, all I would have to record is, uh, I mean upload is Jack and Dexter, which isn't really popular on the channel. And I'd kind of be disappointing everyone if I just uploaded that all week. I wouldn't do that. I care for the subscribers and stuff like that. But I promise, by the time it gets to episode 22 or something of Jack and Dexter 3, the quality will be upgraded quite significantly. Like, you'll see a stage where I'm still trying to experiment with uh, the capture card and stuff, but after that, the quality will look fine. It takes a while to get used to new equipment too, so I mean... That's why the Jack and Dexter videos look so bad at the moment, is because I, when I was making them I was still experimenting with the old capture card I was using. Choo-choo! Cuckoo-ca-choo! Cuckoo-ca-choo! Recently, uh... I've, I'm spewing I don't have a PS3 because recently the... Uh, the Ratchet & Clank Trilogy on... Um, HD thing, Ratchet, what's it called? Ratchet & Clank Collection or something like that. It was released in HD on PS3, but I've only got an Xbox. So that's kind of shitty, because I really, I'd really love to play that. Very, I'm very uh, picky about the games I play. And that looks like something I would actually buy on PS3. Same with the Jack and Jack Daxter trilogy on PS3. It's all upgraded in HD and widescreen and stuff like that. It'd be amazing to play this in HD. And here's another info bot here. Hehe. <laughs> Did you just laugh at me? Or snickered? Oh no, that was the mine guy. That was him, you bastard. Get your fat ass back here. Oh, uh, there's the info bot there. There's another gold ball around here too, I think. I could be wrong. In fact, I probably am wrong. But we're nearly finished with this world. Already. Went pretty quick. Obviously, there's more to the levels than what I'll show in this playthrough. Um, just because of the fact I don't need to go there, I probably won't. Well, I nearly hit that mine. But yeah, there are little secret areas in every single level. Greetings, Executive German Drek. Dispense with the pleasantries, Lieutenant. My sources tell me you're behind schedule. You must prepare this planet to be harvested for our new world. Yes, sir. As you can see, everything is moving along as planned. I'm counting on you, Lieutenant. And as your former commander can tell you, I don't take disappointment well. Yes, sir. I won't fail. Drek is destroying yet another planet. Yeah, but if that's the kind of help he's getting, I don't think we have anything to worry about. You should not underestimate Chairman Drek. He is quite dangerous. We must find Captain Quark. Look, that lieutenant doesn't seem so tough. Let's take him out ourselves. Perhaps we can persuade the lieutenant to tell us where Drek is. <laughs> now you're talking. Now you're talking. Infobot for planet Euroda or Eudora. He is acquired. Uh, there's some more secret bolts over here. There's not really a lot of them, so it's not a big deal. I don't even know why they put this so secretly up here. Seems very unnecessary. But anyway, that does it for this planet, I'm pretty sure. Uh, in the next episode, we're gonna head to the last level we were on, and get some bolts with the slingshot. Maybe. I don't think we'll actually need to. Let me have a look. Let me just have a look real quick. Get in the ship, ratchet god. Come on, Clank, get in. Um, have we done all the objectives here? Uh, no, we still need to bring the prize back to the agent. And we do need to use a swing shot in that level. So, what we might actually do is come back here after we do the hoverboard race. And in the next episode, we'll head to Eudora. Um, and do the one mission we have to do there. So, that's not going to be too bad. We might actually be able to... Oh, I don't know. But yeah, anyway, I'll see you in episode 5 of Ratchet and Clank. I am your host, Kados, signing off and things. I'll just end the video now. Bye!